Hey survivors, it's your sister from another Mr. the lovely fly shy back with another video. In today's video, I would just like to talk about some of the signs based off of my experience of gang stalking. Um, just understand that a lot of our experiences may or may not correlate or coincide with one another because you know we're all individuals so we're all gonna have our own individual experience um, <clears throat> however I just kind of wanted to touch on my experience and to kind of just share and see you know where you all are at with that and if you know some of these things that I will share if it resonates <clears throat> okay so I took some notes in my journal um, and I just kind of wanted, you know, actually, before I talk about the signs, I want to just talk about an experience that I had in a dream that I had last night <clears throat> and basically how I was able to break down, break down the dream and, um, see the symbolic, um, meaning and nature of it. Right. <clears throat> so yesterday I was, um, you know, I was cleaning up. I've just been, I've been in this, this mode and in this phase and in this period of just getting rid of things that I do not need. Um, myself and my kids included. I just feel like, you know, just clutter is, is just a no for me. Um, so yeah, I'm just, you know, going back and forth outside, throwing things away. And the same guy, the same man that I described in my video a couple of days ago, um, who lives across the way from me in the next building. He fucking like just magically appears. Like it just seemed like out of fucking nowhere, you know, nobody was outside. And I was like, Oh, well motherfuckers must be at work or, you know, I don't know where they were, but you know, it is what it is. So yeah, he comes outside and he's looking directly at me and he's on a, on his phone. And he goes, he comes to like the railing facing my, like facing my building. And then he walks to the railing facing his building, still on the phone, and then walks back to the railing facing my building. And then just is looking just like, like literally attempting to pierce through my soul because he could never, right? So um, <clears throat> this is the same guy that always tries to get me to make some form of eye contact with him. You know, and I'm also kind of feeling like, these people that is what they want you to do because i don't know if you guys are familiar with just <sighs> i don't even know where to start with it like i said this is spiritual warfare so if you are not familiar of it then you just have a lot to work to, a lot of work to do it's going to be like a hard journey for you if you're experiencing this no shade but um but yeah like he was just like just looking and I could see him out the peripheral vision of my eyes and it was like really starting to piss me off like I was really starting to get angry and then I remembered I was like don't let the devil use you don't let the devil use you because that's exactly what he will do if you allow him to you know and so once once that weird shit happened um there was another guy and I'm gonna just keep it real um <laughs> um I think like someone in this area of my neighbors are like drug dealers because there's this guy who lives across the way and he's like constantly skipping and, and, and strutting and, and like fucking hopscotching over his ass over to this building to one of the neighbors that I have upstairs for me, his house. And he's constantly going back and forth there, back and forth there. They have a lot of traffic in and out, out of their house. That's why I understand there's some type of drug activity going on. So that's, that's another reason why I'm just like, I really do not want to be over here um, at all around drugs and, and, and just low vibrational, soulless, spirit individuals. I do not, spiritless, excuse me, I do not want to be around people like that ever at all. Like, <clears throat> so back to the point, um, I had opened my windows and I'm in here vacuuming. I look outside and he's looking sh like straight in the window. And then he's like, like, you know, how you look at someone and then they just go like that. I'm just like, like, I don't know if it's that them drugs got you tweaking like that or what, but you, 
boy oh boy it just it gets real and then um i noticed and then you guys if you don't believe me <laughs> you can check it out i'm gonna try to i mean i probably should have did it before i even made this video but even if you refer to my second channel and watch some of my videos you'll see that at certain times it'll be the same noises being made like this guy like the same guy across the way his fucking car alarm would go off like three or four times in a row and then he'll finally turn it off while i'm in the middle of making a video and i'm not like please don't take this the wrong way this isn't me saying everybody just shut the fuck up and listen what i'm doing something or you you stop the world for me no i'm not saying that um all i am saying is just it, it's just these these different patterns and the, this constant behavior these the same thing over and over again replaying just on different days and so um you know that's something for you all to watch out for just it could be different for your situation it could be constant door slamming at random times throughout the night you hear child crying early in the damn mornings that's another thing my neighbor does she'll open her fucking door and her toddler or baby is literally screaming their damn heads off and she got the door wide open letting her child just roam and run around and shit and she just blasted mu music it'll be like six seven in the morning and it's just like, yo, like, do you have any type of regard for anyone else? Any kind of home training? Obviously not, you know? And so that's why this is another thing I want to mention. I know this can happen in any kind of neighborhood, but I would rather live like in a prestigious neighborhood and be dealing with it. Well, not really dealing with it, but and having to, you know, figure out ways to deal with it accordingly as opposed to living in a not so good area and then you're having to fucking face all the different ramifications from others' lives and what they're going through and how they're feeling and this and that. Like, all of that will begin to, like, attempt. Again, attempt if you don't allow it. But it'll attempt to try to seep into you, you know? So that's just some of my many, many experiences um, just people will always try to come up to you and talk to you, ask you just questions that are just, you know, those questions that you should not ask anyone, you know, those boundary crossing questions that is really no one's damn business and no one should be asking a person that. Um, and then, like I said, it's just people just trying to steal your energy in the form of eye contact, just trying to get you to look at them so they can try to, I don't know, like, shit put a root or a spell on you or some shit like I, that's like I, I know this sounds like i honestly don't care how it sounds really it can sound how it sounds i know my experience and it's just it's it's very frustrating some days but then other days i feel very empowered because i'm like i'm obviously doing something right i'm on my path you know i am the light you know i am one of the most highest chosen ones you know i do have purpose and i was brought here for a very specific mission and they are trying to destroy that by attempting to make me feel as though or make others feel as though that I'm crazy or that this is all just imagination. You know, that's how they'll get you. That's how you end up in a fucking crazy home. Mm -hmm. That's how they'll get your ass <clears throat> with labeling you as being um, or as having like different um, mental illnesses and things like that, which... That's going to be another video, but I, I want to actually get my thoughts together and actually get my points, you know, uh, written down first. That way I can carry the message just smoothly and properly and get actually what it is that I want to say. But I also feel like the mental illnesses that people are being diagnosed with and their diagnoses is completely false to keep the agenda going, to keep the gang stalking going, you know, if they can keep you on medicine in and in a, as a form to, you know, keep you under control, then they will, you know, the shit gets deeper than deep. But let me just give you some of the signs that I have experienced that were just mind blowing. And I think these are some of the higher levels of gang stalking. So hearing your name being called while alone in your home or in public, like you'll just hear your name either loud or um like softly but clear as day someone called your name right house noises um you can experience like sounds of like clicking um like sounds like like that or 
Well, they wouldn't be as loud as that, so don't expect because that would that would make a motherfucker just really go insane. But no, they're not like loud as that. But it's just like certain, like you'll hear like like softer like stuff like that, or you'll hear like your doors will close themselves. All just so many different things. Sorry, if you guys, I'm a little sweaty. Um, I have my window open. Um, but yeah, so certain things will happen. Um, that is just like super paranormal and if you tell someone that these things are happening They're gonna just automatically assume like yeah, this chick is crazy. This dude is crazy And they deserve to be locked in a mental hospital, but I'm also starting to oh my god How can I put this because I know what it is I'm trying to say and I know what it is that spirit wants me to get out But sometimes it's difficult because they try to block my messages my speech and things But I, I don't care. I'm gonna keep going till I get it right so, <clears throat> damn this hot ass light. I think it's this light making me so damn hot. But anyway, um, <coughs> I feel like though, <coughs> shit, hold on. Alrighty, survivors, I'm back. I apologize for that. Um, I almost choked on my water. Another something to take heed to. It'll be shit like that. <clears throat> but um, yeah, anyway. So I think that the people that they label in society as being crazy or out of their minds are the people that have seen and discovered the truth and now have been silenced and reduced to who they are now being categorized as, such as our homeless, such as our, our veterans who have, you know, fought in the war but are, have now been... Now, I'm not saying, like, certain mental ailments can't come about like due to traumatic experiences but it's like when it comes to paranormal spiritual experiences mm -mm. you can't you can't pay me to believe that a mother a person is um <clears throat> schizophrenic or bipolar or anything just because they feel strongly about something and just because they are passionate about something that they deem to be true and it's not like that it's just because they deem it to be true but they know it to be true and, and, and you and a person trying to force them to think otherwise is what really drives a person insane, you know, um, because it's that conditioning and they want to keep you programming. And I feel like once you've deprogrammed and you've realized what it is, the attacks become stronger and they'll label you as anything crazy, a, a menace to society, all types of things, you know. Now I'm starting to question those of which, of whom we, we deem as sane. I question those people. You know? So, it gets deep. It really does. But I know that I'm divinely protected and I'm going to continue to, <laughs> I'm going to continue to remind those of whom seek to think that or seem to think that they're black magic or, or their their spell work or their spell casting and such will work upon me which it will never you know my spiritual team will never allow a soul to touch me now on the spiritual plane of course the attacks is heavy but i slay the hell out of the demons every time <laughs> you know i hate having sleep paralysis but you know i'm no longer afraid of it i face it you know i face those demons trying to attack me now and I always come out on top. And, I, and I'm starting to do that in the physical sense. You know, I'm destroying those of whom wish to dismantle me, wish to silence me, wish to make me feel other than who I am about myself, you know, who or what I am, excuse me. So, you know, this is spiritual warfare. We are here. We've been here. This is this is what it's been. But I guess now that there's a name to it, it makes a bit more sense. But what I can tell you all wholeheartedly though is that you've already won. You've already won the race. You've already won the fight. Now you got to keep fighting the great fight to continue to elevate to those new levels in which they do not want you to go, whether mentally, spiritually, emotionally, psychologically. They want to keep you down. They want to keep your mind controlled. 
They want to keep you diseased and broken. They want to keep you living in desolate neighborhoods. They want to keep you believing that you are not capable of attaining more. You all, this is a fight. This is a fight for the light. This is a fight for the good, the righteous, those who are discerned, that, that practice and use their discernment, those who are awakened to the truth and can no longer go back to sleep again. You can take that literal or figuratively, you know? Um, I think where you gain your power is in, is in speaking against it, speaking about it, and not allowing any of the interference that may come your way to detour you, but instead allow it to fuel you. You know, we are not victims, okay, survivors? Remember that. We are survivors. That's who we are. That's why, you know, the targeted individual's term and all that, I mean, I get it, but it's like, the way I think, I'm like, well, damn, if I, if I, if I say that, then I, that's why I'm always going to be like, you know, but it, it gets deep, you know. Um, but this is a targeted journey, though, regardless of, you know, maybe I'll have to just try to create my own word for it that makes me feel more comfortable as opposed to being, you know, considered a, a targeted individual. But, you know, that's what it is. That's what it is. So. Yeah, that's basically all I have to say. I just, you know, just wanted to shine a light on basically my experiences. Um, definitely, if you're willing and if you're able, definitely drop your experiences down below. Um, you know, I definitely would like to get a conversation started with you all. Um, amongst all other things, I'm working on putting together like a support group. Um, but, you know, you guys, I have so much going on. I know uh, some of you have been asking for, like, my email and everything. But I'm going to be honest, just with everything I have going on, it's very difficult for me to try to get back to everyone um, when I have just many things of my own going on. But, like like I said, soon I'll have that uh, support group up and running. And uh, I think it will probably more than likely be via Zoom. And then for those of whom are in my city, which is Las Vegas, and are experiencing the same, then perhaps we could do, like, monthly meetups and things like that so that's what i have to look forward to for the future the near future uh, that is and just doing the background work right now um to get everything solidified and uh set in stone but just know that i stand with you all we are powerful intuitive beings and the most high creator chose us so not only refer to yourself as targeted but refer to yourself as chosen that's exactly who you are. You're targeted for the opposition, for their agenda. You're targeted for the oppressor's agenda, but you're chosen by the most high God of all things, okay? Now, with that said, I hope you all have an amazing rest of your weekend, Labor Day weekend. I personally don't celebrate holidays. I don't believe in paganism, but pretty sure a lot of you out there still do. So no disrespect, no shade, but, um, have a good weekend nonetheless. And um, yeah, I'm about to chill, um, handle some business, stay busy, stay productive, um, stay proactive. <laughs> they hate that. <laughs> they want you to be sleep all day in fear, shaking, wondering, what are they gonna do? No, we're not doing that. We still gonna thrive every day, day in and day out. We still gonna walk in our purpose. We're still gonna wake up. With, with one thing on our minds, <clears throat> getting closer and closer to our mission. Okay, survivors? If you enjoyed this video, please do not hesitate to like, comment, and subscribe. I definitely look forward to connecting with all of you. Um, you all have beautiful souls. You're full of light. <clears throat> and the darkness that will soon be eradicated from this planet Earth is just on a... <clears throat> vicious vicious non-stop fight for your life okay so without further ado i'm gonna allow you all to get back to your day thank you very much for watching and uh just stay up stay level-headed and uh just remember it ain't over till it's over you got breath in your body so that's a new day and a new chance to go forward and towards your dreams and your mission all right.
Peace.